I asked you guys to draw 30 degrees and walking around, I'm seeing a lot of different 30 degrees around here. I'm seeing, you know, something that looks like this. Uh, you guys could have done something like this. And I even say it, saw some people doing something in triangles. Right, they made a right triangle and they're like, that's what we remember from, um, you know, degrees. And to your credit, everything that you've learned so far about degrees has really always either been provided for you um, or it's really been something that's been taken in part of like a shape. Like for instance, you know, we had different shapes and you know, whatever else, this isn't regular, but you know, we'd say a certain shape, obviously that's not gonna be correct, so let's do something like that, uh, or maybe like that. But either way, like anytime we had a shape, we were always given something as a degrees. Or you guys had parallel lines, right? And you were given something in degrees, right? So up to this point, we were always talking about angles that were relative to a shape or lines or anything else. And remember that the definition of a degree is basically the measurement of the rotation between two rays, right? And these rays can be come as far as lines or as far as a shape. But the problem is these angles are all represented different ways, correct? Like if I said, and that's what I did, I said, you know, draw me something that's 30 degrees, everybody basically drew something different. And then the kind of question came into when I asked you to draw something that's 30 degrees, well, it should have sparked some confusion because we really haven't up to this point talked really about negative angles. We've only talked about angles as a measurement between two rays. So what exactly does it mean for an angle to be negative, right? If an angle just represents a measurement, you know, like you walked five miles, what does it mean for you to walk negative five miles? Does that, right? We haven't talked about this or you haven't really been exposed much to it. So to understand 30 degrees, our negative 30 degrees, is to understand that we're still doing the same measurement, it's still gonna be 30 degrees, but you know, just like you can walk five miles in a positive or in a negative direction, the negative represents the direction where you're going. And we need to kind of formalize this because when I asked you to graph 30 degrees or represent 30 degrees, I want it to be uniform or we, need, we all need to be on the same page. And to be on the same page, we use the standard form of an angle. And the standard form is written right there on the board, but I will go ahead and sketch it for you as well, or at least explain for you the standard form. So the standard form is basically an angle that has a vertex at the origin. You can kind of think of this as like an xy axis or it is an xy axis, all right? The, there is a initial side, which we call, it's kind of like the start, which is on the positive side of the x-axis. Then there is a rotation between two rays, which goes to what we call your terminal side. All right, now this just doesn't represent 30 degrees. Because as I mentioned, in standard form, direction matters. So what we're gonna do is we always start at the initial side, right? That's kind of like your start, and this would be your end. So what we wanna do is make sure we represent that with direction. So what we're gonna do is rather than just using the arc to represent the angle, we are gonna represent that with an arrow saying you're started here and you rotate it in this way. And when we rotate counterclockwise, that is regarded as the positive direction. If I wanted to represent this angle in a negative direction, which I saw some of you kind of doing, we would go in the negative. I'm sorry, we'd go clockwise. So therefore this angle, if I represent it like this, would represent negative 30 degrees. Okay, so everything we're gonna be doing today is going to be in the standard form. So therefore, when I ask you to graph an angle, we are all on the same page. Got it? Yes. All right. 